What if I told you that the dial of destiny from the latest Indiana Jones movie was real? On the big screen, this magical device lets characters travel in time. The evil guy, who actually also had a historical doppelganger, wants to use it for his nefarious purposes. When Indy finds out about it, he dusts off his old hat and sets on a journey to save the world again. Time travel doesn't look that realistic, but like with other movies from the saga, there's some historical truth behind it. The real-life device that inspired the Dial of Destiny was the Antikythera Mechanism. In the very beginning of the 20th century, sponge divers found any sailor's dream off the Greek island of Antikythera. It was a shipwreck of a Greek trading ship full of ancient treasures. It looks like it set sail around 60 BCE. There were marble statues and jewelry, beautiful glass bowls, rich furniture, and some mysterious device encased in a corroded clump of metal the size of a large dictionary. The sponge divers spent about 10 months unloading the shipwreck. In the end, they took their finds to the National Archaeological Museum in Athens. Months later, the lump broke apart and revealed one of the greatest architectural finds of all time. The find consisted of at least 30 gears, and many more haven't survived. It appeared to be a super complex astronomical calculation machine from over 2,000 years ago. The scholars who worked with it couldn't even believe it could have been made in ancient Greece or anywhere else in the world. It was centuries ahead of its time. Over the decades, scholars have used x-rays, CT scans, and all sorts of fancy tools to uncover the mechanism's secrets. They originally thought it must be a navigation device or some kind of time travel contraption. Some even thought it wasn't from our planet. Fast forward to 2021, and a team of geniuses presented a computational model that shed light on how this mind-boggling contraption might have worked. It was like a tiny ancient supercomputer covered in Greek inscriptions that revealed its astronomical secrets. It was about tracking the positions of the sun, the moon, and even lunar phases with a half-silvered ball. This device had a wicked drivetrain involving epicyclic gearing and a slot and pin mechanism. It was all to mimic the moon's subtle variations across the sky. If you flip over the mechanism, you'll see some groovy dials, including one with a spiral slot that tracked lunar months. They were all about keeping those calendars in check. Plus, there was another dial that predicted solar and lunar eclipses, like some cosmic fortune teller. Depending on which display you were looking at, you could see all of these different functions pretty much like an ancient tablet. The main theory is that the device was crafted in a workshop on the island of Rhodes. Some even say it could have been the famous philosopher Poseidonus' workshop. It could have been a fancy order for a rich customer from northern Greece. And that's how it could have ended up on the trading ship. Some people think that the device was the creation of Archimedes himself, the legendary mathematician and inventor. He lived a couple of centuries before this particular Antikythera mechanism was born, so it would be unlikely. But he could have been the brains behind this incredible idea in general. He might have started with a simpler version and then refined it over time, incorporating the latest astronomical thinking. The Antikythera mechanism is the only physical remnant of a long line of mechanical astronomical displays that once ruled the ancient world. We have nothing to compare it with. It might not let its users travel back and forth in time like in the movie, but it sure could foresee events in the future. Its exact purpose still remains a mystery. The ancient Greeks didn't create it to do work. They were trying to model the skies. It doesn't look like they needed it for navigation, so perhaps they needed it to create horoscopes. But then again, it was way too complicated to be used for that. It sounds more like it was a philosophical and teaching tool. It put in one place all of their knowledge of the universe and how it works. The inscriptions on the mechanism were like little captions guiding everyday folks through the cosmic show. It wasn't some instruction manual for experts. It was made to be accessible and awe-inspiring. They wanted to shift the perspective of the universe from a magical entity to something more mathematical and scientific. Think of it as an ancient science museum exhibit. The mechanism changed our understanding of how advanced the ancient Greeks were. 
We knew they'd built the Parthenon and the Lighthouse of Alexandria even earlier than they created the device, but this one takes them to a whole new level. Then, another question arises. Why did it take so long for scientists to catch up and invent something as sophisticated as this ancient marvel? Perhaps there are still some gaps in the historical record. And why haven't we found more of these mind-blowing mechanisms? First off, bronze was a precious commodity back in the day. So when one magnificent contraption stopped working, people probably melted it down for its valuable materials. Shipwrecks might have more impressive devices like this waiting to be discovered. Another invention way ahead of its time was the seismoscope from 2,000 years ago. This nifty gadget could detect earthquakes from hundreds of miles away. It had a jar-like structure with dragon heads on the outside and corresponding toads at the base. When an earthquake struck, a ball would drop into one of the toads, pointing to the direction of the distant quake. It was like a seismic compass, ancient style. The scientist behind this, whose nickname was the Leonardo da Vinci of China, believed that earthquakes were caused by air and wind. According to him, the air would get all stirred up and compressed, like a mini natural disaster ready to burst out. And when it couldn't escape, the earth would shake and rumble. Nobody knows exactly how the genius pulled off this mind-boggling invention. Even today, Researchers scratch their heads in awe since no one has been able to recreate his magical seismoscope successfully. It's like a secret lost in time, waiting to be unraveled. It looks like the first ever battery was invented in Baghdad around 2,000 years ago. It's believed that a German archaeologist found this oval-shaped clay jar in 1936. Scientists are still not sure what purpose it served and who exactly invented it. There is a theory that it was used for electroplaning objects with precious metals or some kind of electrotherapy. Another theory says it was a vessel for sacred scrolls. The ancient battery had a folded sheet of copper, an iron rod, and several pieces of bitumen inside. Bitumen glued up the upper and lower edges of the jar, and there must have been some weak acid, like vinegar, inside. This mechanism somehow conducted electric current automated doors became a cool, seemingly new invention back in 1931. But the technology behind them is actually much older. Think the first century CE old. Mathematician and engineer Heron of Alexandria came up with a hydraulic system to open and close temple doors. To bring it into action, you need to light a fire to produce heat. There was a brass pot under the fire, half filled with water. The inventor connected the brass pot to containers that acted as weights. When the fire was burning, the water vapor moved into the containers. They went down and pulled the ropes. It took several hours for the doors to open, and it was almost impossible to stop the process. So the idea behind the doors wasn't to let people enter fast, but to add some mysticism and impress the visitors of the temple. Heron also mentioned in his writings that he had built a similar set of doors at the city gates.